Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I wanted to share with you my top five apps for creators. Some of these will be free, some are not, but I wanted to share them with you to show you how you can go from start to finish creating a video or a photo or maybe a post to Instagram or just maybe editing something on the go. So the first thing is a planning app. This is a free app called, called Notability. If you haven't heard of it, it's, it's a pretty good app. It works on not only your iPad, but also other devices as well. And as you can see here, we can draw, which is pretty straightforward. You don't have to use the pencil, but you can. And then maybe we want to bring in a web clip. We'll just go to web clip, go to my website here. And maybe we just want to screenshot this. We'll hit done. We brought it in here. We'll shrink it, put it inside this little box here. And then maybe we want to add a little bit of a, a text here saying, this is my video. We'll fix that. That's two fingers. If you haven't used that on an iPad on the keyboard, you can kind of move your text around. We'll go there. This is my video. And then the nice thing is this syncs across your iPhone or any other device you have here that uses notability. It'll take a moment here and it usually takes about 10 seconds to sync. There we go. We've got our, our sync between the two devices and we're ready to go. So it's really simple and straightforward. Of course, you could use, just use it for bullet points. You can even use it to record audio with ideas. So it's a really great app that way. And it will sync across iCloud or Dropbox or any other uh, service like that that you choose. Now, before we continue, this video is brought to you by Surfshark and Surfshark is something I use all the time. And the other day I was editing a video in a coffee shop. They had a, a network that was not secure. And so I go into my VPN app, hit quick connect once I'm on their network. And now I'm secure and I can do anything from banking to logging into YouTube to upload a video. It's super secure and I use it all the time. And you know it's connected because in the upper right here, you'll see it says VPN. And if it disconnects, it has a built-in kill switch that will actually disconnect it for you by itself. So it keeps you safe all the time. And then you don't have to just connect to where I connected in the United States. There's a ton of different countries you can actually connect through or different locations in the U S or around the world. So maybe you want to watch Netflix and you're overseas, but you want to watch Netflix from the United States. You can do that as well. It's something I use all the time. I'm always using a VPN on networks that are not secure just to make sure that my data is safe when it's being transferred back and forth and no one can intercept it. It's end to end encrypted and they never collect your data. If you want to get 83% off, use the code Zolotech when you check out. It's surfshark.com slash Zolotech. And thanks again for being the sponsor for this video. Now, the next thing, of course, after you've planned your video, you need to record your video. And I've talked about this app before, and it's definitely worth the money. It's Filmic Pro. So let's go into Filmic Pro. But instead of using it on the iPad, I use it on the iPhone and remotely control it or view it through the iPad. Then on the iPhone, we'll go into Filmic Pro. And you'll see here, I've already got it connected. Over here, it popped up, we'll hit Aaron's iPhone, and we're good to go. Now I can set all of the same settings on my iPhone, but instead I can control it right here. So if I wanna go into the settings, I can change all the things from resolution to, let's go back here, we can go to frame rate or audio, whatever we want, and then we can just set this wherever we want. So maybe we wanna record ourselves talking, we can see if we're in frame or whatever we have here, and then just when we're ready to go, we can just hit record and now we're recording. You can see here it just activated and we're ready to go as far as recording goes. So it's really nice, simple and straightforward and definitely worth the money you'll spend because instead of having footage that shifts colors and things like that with the built-in apps from the iPhone, you can set all of those different things and keep everything in focus and in the different different color settings you want with the correct white balance. It's really nice. Now the next app is by far the best video editing app and iMovie is free, but LumaFusion is on a whole other level. And it's basically the closest thing to Final Cut Pro on an iPad right now. And as you can see, there's video, audio, and then up here is actually the title that's here with a, with a transition in and out. So we can go here and just play it. So this is a video I was playing around with. And of course it looks very simple and straightforward, but if we tap on the clip and then maybe go down here to edit, 
Now we've got another editing area where we can mess with the audio. So we've got all the different audio settings. We can even do voiceovers if we want to voice over it, transition overlay titles. And there's a lot more to edit in here than just what you see right in the main display. You've also got the ability to export to all sorts of things from YouTube to iCloud drive to wireless network drives. I prefer to export to either just photos or iCloud drive, but if we export to photos, we've got all sorts of things from resolutions to frame rates to video quality. We can go all the way up to 150 megabits per second, H.264 or H.265, and then also video, video only, audio, whatever you want, it's basically here and they keep adding to it. You wanna add maybe a new transition, we can go up here, add a transition or a title, You've got all the different titles here and you can see what they look like just by tapping on them. Everything's crazy fast. And I would argue this is faster than a MacBook or a Mac mini, like I'm editing with a eGPU or anything like that. It's just super, super fast. So once you've edited your video, of course you need to make a thumbnail. And so my favorite app for that is Pixelmator on the Mac, but on the iPad, it's Pixelmator Pro. So if we go into Pixelmator Pro, we'll wait for it to open. This is fairly new. And here's a, here's a picture I took of my Tesla that's fully edited for the most part without some color corrections and things. This car had a ton of dirt on it. In fact, if I zoom in here, you'll see the dirt right here. And this app makes it so simple. You just tap on the little Band-Aid tool and maybe I wanna get rid of that one spot. Takes a second, now it's gone. We can just go here, tap. That one may not look how I wanted, but once you're zoomed out, you won't see it. You can just color whatever area you want and it gets rid of most of the things you don't want there. If I want to zoom out, I'll show you a better example. In fact, if I go here, here's the little toe hook area. If we just do this, now it's gone. You zoom out and it's missing. So if I want to do that, I can, and then I can color correct automatically using machine learning here, ML or we've got more advanced tools over here. So you can change everything from the temperature and it's all in real time on the fly, just like you would get on the Mac. In fact, the only thing this doesn't have that the Mac does have is text overlays. So you've got filters and things built in down here. If you wanna do that, I'm not into filters so much, but you could do that. You can color balance it all by itself if you'd like, or do it yourself change contrast, whatever you'd like, you can mess around with it. You can also crop it, of course, and you've got a few other settings as well. So the next thing though, is if you wanna put text overlays like I do, you probably need a, another app to do that. So let me show you that next. Now my final app has to do with finishing up a thumbnail, but it will work for everything from Instagram to just making a picture for yourself. And maybe you've edited a photo like I just showed you in Pixelmator Photo or Procreate or anything you really wanna use. Go to Photo, my folder here, and it's Canva. This is a free app, it's been around for a long time. There are paid parts to it, but you really don't necessarily need those. And you'll see it, I like it because it's simple. It's create new design, and you've got everything from Instagram post, Instagram story, slide over here, YouTube channel art. And we'll go to blank, and then we can import a photo. So let's add a photo, add images, You'll see here's favorites. I'll tap on the Tesla one we just took a look at before. And here's the Tesla photo. So let me zoom in a little bit. It's pretty simple to do. We'll add some text. So we'll add text. Maybe we'll add this one, move it around here. It's a little bit large, so we'll do that. We'll change this to say Tesla. I don't really like the font. It's too small still. I don't really like the font here. Let's change it to this one, I guess. Of course, we can't really see it that well, so maybe we'll change it to white to match the car. And then we can change any of these different things. So we can change transparency on them. We can make this match as well. Whatever we want, we can get rid of it. And it's a really simple app to use. Now, when you're done with it, you can just hit done and save it to photos. And let me show you another one I was working on. This one here I was just showing you. This one looks a little bit more like what I would normally make. Of course, that I is not normally capital, but it gives you the idea. And you have different layers as well. So we have different layers here. We can put this in front. Now I can tap on the little box here that's slightly transparent shape I added. And then we're done with that. 
I can move it behind the text. So it's a really simple and straightforward way to make a different thumbnail. It's in the correct sizes. And of course, like I said, you can do it with Instagram and everything else. Now there are a lot of different creative tools out there. You can see I have some here, Procreate on my desktop here or my folder here. I have video creation field monitor that connects to a different camera. There are a ton of different helpful tools, but hopefully that would get you started if you want to edit on the iPad and upload to YouTube on the go. You really can use this device for just about everything you want. Thanks again to the sponsor Surfshark. I'll link them in the description. Like I said before, of course, you can get 83% off if you do use the code. So be sure to use my code Zolotech if you want to try them out. Be sure to do that. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.